All right, we need to get more colonists back. We got five days on the next uh, possible event. The high mate is up. We need them to be the moral guide now. So that will help with a little bit of mood issue. Okay, did that change? To recover, you think? Maybe, maybe. It just depends on if Randy wants to be a jerk again like that, you know? I need to send uh, Mule off now that we're not feeding so many people. I'm going to go into Triphasic just to try to recover our mood. Minimize our breakdowns. Yeah, it's so crazy. Yesterday, Randy was chill. Today, a jerk. Just the perfect one-two punch. That was like a Cassandra move, honestly. That looks like Cassandra. <laughs> 100%. Just making sure. <laughs> Just making sure. You're being a real Cassandra. Randy not being so random this time, it seems. Yeah. Parade. Tagged immediately. Look how small it is uh, because of this. It's still deadly, though. Let's go. Marksman command. They woke the mechs up. Oh, it's a freaking centipede. Please kill the centipede before you guys get wiped. Please. Please kill the centipede. Come on, tribals. You got this. You got this. Go melee lock it. I know you're on fire. I don't care. Just do it. You're getting a lot of hits in. Yeah, excellent. Throw fire on it. Well, you know, that's kind of good. Get the fire out before you get to us. Oh, he's got like 15% health. Tribals got this. Hey, they did it. Nice. We did it. We defeated the mech cluster. At least we got two... Mood buffs from mech cluster defeats right now. Where are they crossing it? Hey, they bled out. Nice. Oh, some actual luck. Oh, thank goodness. We did it. <laughs> A slaver. Slavers, we don't have enough money for that, but it's very tempting to sell convert into slavery. <laughs> well, but we can't arrest him, so we can't really do it anyway, so it doesn't matter, but still, it would be tempting. It would be tempting. Slavers can spawn at any time with Randy. Randy is the only storyteller that you can get slavers the entire game. You can have 50 colonists, and Randy still has a small chance of sending you a slaver. Uh, Cassandra and Phoebe do not. The more colonists you have, the less likely they are all. They both hit zero. Randy does not. Uh, he's the only one that it's not impossible to get them even when you have high colonists. It's lower chance than in the early one. Also, uh, you gotta remember, we've just had a huge adaption factor thing, so our population curve type thing is a little bit different now. I, I think that's how it, or impacts raid points. I'm not sure actually. Maybe it does impact slavers showing up. Like we literally just had, we haven't had slavers. We have four people die and the slaver shows up. So seems kind of, but it could be just correlation and not causation. I'm trying to decide what I would go get on uh, on mule. Could use more components and, at least. All right, mule, let's get you out of here. All right, Mule, head on out. Care to join your slavers after suffering heavy losses? That's why I'm wondering if it's part of the adaption factor. So adaption, for anyone that doesn't know, if you have a pawn that's violently downed or violently killed, uh, there's an adaption factor where it makes the game a little bit easier for a short time. It basically makes so you get ra less raid points. This adaption factor a wall. How much wealth would I have in a similar, similar colony, but with walls? Walls and rooms and stuff right now? Probably like 100... Or like 100,000, 80 to 100,000. Can't believe that stupid Manhunter. Well, learn the lesson from that. Basically, just never do anything towards the edge of the map, even if it means we have to waste barrels. What happened? There was a mech cluster here. We defeated it. Literally, all that was left was the mech cluster building. We gathered up to shoot it. So all of our colonists are right here. And the game just happens to trigger a Manhunter here. Four people died. We're lucky we didn't lose the run. Two of our best pawns died. But uh, hopefully we get some joint events here and we can recover. Man, oh man, there's so many ways that I could have done that differently. But I mean, there was no way to know that it would just perfectly happen. It just happened, so just gotta try to recover. We bought him out of Daption Factor. You get 10 days of 75% raid size and 10 of 92%. 30. It'll slowly grow to 100. Okay, so over the next 30 days, raids are gonna be a little bit smaller than they would have been. Plus, we just have less raid points because less colonists and less wealth, but...
What is less wealth? 2,000 psychoid leaves or tearing it into flake? Psychoid leaves are less. You, almost always when you improve something, it increases the wealth. You turn leather into clothing. Clothing will be worth more wealth than the uh, than the leather. You make rice into meals. The meals are going to be worth more. It's just generally how it works in RimWorld. And in real life. Mainly doing these as um, something to just pull threat. Okay. It's current wealth, 70,000. 70,000. Surprisingly high happiness. They were a lot happier before four of their family members just died. No pause, kiting, and splitting. Yeah. That's the RTS muscle memory coming back every now and then. I'm also using triphasic right now, which is the only thing that's keeping us from breaking down. Top Agent Empire 2 players with worse micro. I would love to get back into an RTS, but it'd be terrible for the stream. Absolutely terrible. All right, we need a joint event. We need a joint event. Come on. Fantastic. How about another mood hit instead? <laughs> oh, man. All right, there we go. Now everyone's going to have a mood buff for having the same ideology. There we go. Everyone's back to the same ideology. We'll do a council now on the next cooldown. I just need bodies. That's it. If I can just, like, get to 20 pawns, that, that's better than anything else I can do right now. Just get to 20 people that can shoot. I still need to decide who I'm going to hook the Hymet up with. I think I'm going to hook it up with whoever the leader is going to be. I'm not 100% on that yet. Definitely not a volatile leader. So the leader in needs to be a female then. Bossy could be the leader. Well, let's let's oh, wait. Let's see what we get from the expand. recruitment. Another slaver. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, it's funny because they were just saying like, I never get trade or slavers. And now it has to be something to do with the adaption, right? Like we weren't getting uh, slavers. And then we had four people die and all of a sudden two slavers show up. Thanks, Randy. I mean, we can't afford anyone anyway. Heard your close ones died. How about a slave? Is the high mate still there? Yes. Right now, they're just named High Mate. I probably will uh, give them a real name. Let's give them a real name, actually, and I'll just leave it in all capitals so I can remember who it is easily. Tacoma Ken, you're in. This run is like Tynan's ideal run. No, he likes he likes little cabins that are misshaped and stuff like that. Oh, Christ. <laughs> that almost hit someone. Marriage is on. Bossy is already getting remarried? She's still pregnant with her husband, her dead husband, who just died like seven days ago. Man, bossy. My husband died. My friend died. But I'm getting married to this hot new pink bearded addition to the colony. She's trying to get a baby daddy. <laughs> Family comes first. Sometimes a new one. <laughs> the grind set. The grind set. That's right. Grind set. All right. A little bit more than grinding, I think. Once that a woman pawn start a relationship in the middle of the fight where her husband just died. I had one where they broke up and immediately got back together also. It was like, so-and-so is in a relationship. Marriage is on. Breakup. Lovers. Like, and it was with the same pair. It was like, God, make up your mind. Everyone knows that couple in real life. <laughs> relationship status. It's complicated. All right. Please join events. Join, join, join. New lovers. Oh my God. Zidian and Kin. Hey, Wonder Joins. Please don't be a child. Please don't be a child. Why? Why, you little 10 year old dirt mule? I mean, dirt mole? <laughs> I was thinking of our early pawn. I don't want you, childs. I can't. If I banish you right now, we're going to get a, another mood hit. Yeah, I don't like the sun. I'm slow. We're going to let you be kidnapped, is what we're going to do. We'll offer you as a sacrifice to the raid. Hopefully, they take you and don't kill you. We could just stick him in here until he's 13. That's true. We're about to have another kid in there. Whatever. Put that dirt child in there. Put him in there. Does the imprison escape trick not work anymore? No, they fixed that after I yeah after I reported it to them. That's the funny story too. But anyway, I can't have rooms anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh, it's funny when 1.3 was coming. I made a big list of a bunch of these like cheesy things, right? And I went to the the developer Discord and I reported all of them. And then there was a patch, like the next week, an update on the Unstable branch. And I was reading it on stream and they fixed all those things. And I was like, what? No, wait, I use all these. 
It's like, what? How dare you listen and fix all the, the things that I told you was going on? And the, the catch and release prison thing was one of them, yeah. The funniest one they fixed, though, was in 1.3, they made it so that you could carry people. You could carry people. You could draft carry people. And so what I ended up doing is um, in 1.3, when it first came out, if someone had a breakdown, I would draft someone and I would go arrest them or pick them up, you know, arrest them. But I wouldn't take them to the prison. And so that's one reason why they fixed this. So they weren't counted as a prisoner unless you drop them in a prison room. They would remain a colonist. And since you could be drafted and you could hold them, what I would do is I would just have someone go scoop them up and carry them around until their breakdown was over. <laughs> Completely trivialized breakdowns. So I would get a breakdown notification like, you know, so-and-so is going on a drug binge. And I'd be like, nope. And I would just draft someone and pick them up and we'd just hold them. Just walk around the base. I would just queue them up to like walk around the base while they were holding the other person until their breakdown was over and then they would just set them down. <laughs> that got fixed pretty quickly. It was so good though. It was like, no, 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 no. Here. It's okay. It's okay. Like a little baby. All right. Join, 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 join. Join. Adult. An adult that can shoot. That's all I asked for. An adult that can shoot. All right, O'Leary. Why? Why are you like this, O'Leary? Why? In a world like this, how can you be opposed to violence? We go again. Please. Then kidnap me. Okay. Okay, Lucia. All right, Lucia. All right, Lucia. Lucia. Hey, Pyromaniac. Whatever. You can shoot. Pyro is not what I want, but right now I'll take people that can kill other people. There you go. Welcome to the colony. Let's give you a name. We traded four god pawns, three and a half god pawns for a child and a cable of violence and a pyro. Excellent. All right, Brian Oy, that's all the part of your name I'm putting in here. All right, we need a name convert as well. Miss Bat Attack. Bossy, I'm going to make you the leader. I don't care about the social at all. I'm just literally trying to get it for the leader aura. That's it. That's it. I just need the combat command aura. Imagine after all this hype up about how difficult it was, I beat it on the first try. I actually thought I might do that until that stupid dog event happened. We got some just insane luck and then some insane bad luck, you know. Things turned very quickly. We're still okay, but we're not we're nowhere near as well off as we were. Uh boring. Let's see where this kid gets scarred. Another one got stabbed in the eye. Well, everyone's scarred. So now we have to survive for 12 days. Yeah, the scarification is from Pain is Virtue. I chose it just for an easy mood increase that we could do on uh, with no rooms. Yeah, and then plus one for the basic scarification. You could go you could go higher if you wanted. There's problems going higher with it. Um, but yeah, Pain I Idealize is why we're getting that from, um, from the scar. We have scarification minor. So they have a plus one for their scar and then a plus three when it first happens. And the opinion is plus three. However, you can set this to like extreme where they want five scars, five scars. We might end up just having sacrifice be a, they've been here long enough now. All right, sacrifice, you're getting a name. Look at that, moving up in the world because we had other people die. Look at you, Anzer. Anzer, didn't you win a place in the previous run too? How, how lucky you are. There's like 2000 tickets in the queue. Which traps are the most efficient? Like with most answers, it depends. So wood traps go up very easily and it's a replenishable resource you can get very easily because just cut down trees depending on your map. They don't do a lot of damage though. Don't have a lot of armor pin. Stone traps are pretty easily replenishable as well. They take a long time to build. They do a little bit more damage, a little bit more armor pin. Seal traps, even better at damage dealing and are quick to build, but steel can be a valuable resource, especially early game. So I would say if you have infinite steel, just make steel traps. If you don't, make wood, or if you want to spend the extra time, make stone. Raid, mech raid. That's Militor, all Militor. Oh my God. They changed the raid value of Militors. There's so friggin' many of them. There's 38 Militor. Okay. We have to go to them.
Why are you slow? From the scarification, great. Boss, you need to stay back. Stay back as well. All right, come on. Yeah, it's nighttime. Marksman command. Okay, no damage, no damage. Turrets paying off. Paying off big time. Thank you, turrets. Looks like we need to put one down here to pull aggro sometime. Micro's insane? No, thank you. Another one there for aggro. One tier one side cast of solar uh, would be huge for those night fights, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I didn't think this was going to go so long. I might have just literally started over. We started up and the animate tree got eaten really quickly and I was like, I'll be fine. We'll be in uh, attempt two in no time anyway. <laughs> Little did I know. We're going to get to fabrication. How much plastic do we have? We have 10. I know there's a little bit more on the map, but not a whole lot. Uh, We need 50. Maybe we'll go take Mule and trade for a little bit. Mule and Drummer on the road again. Yeah, we'll take the barrel. All right, it's gonna be a nightmare defending the ship without walling it in. I'm really worried that when we do the ship launch, that we're gonna get explosive drop pod pirates and they're gonna blow the ship up. Yeah, we could keep killing the anima tree and put columns down and try to regrow it where we want. I might end up doing that, but I didn't think we'd live this long, honestly. I like the challenge. I'm, I'm the one that wanted to do it. The thing, I, the only thing I'm unhappy about is the dog spawning on top of us. There's just so many things that went perfectly wrong with it. Like, if that happens five seconds later, we don't lose anyone. But challenges can be stressful, even if they're fun, yeah. What's the next big milestone for the colony? I just need bodies. I need people that can shoot. That's it. Literally, that's it. Right now. That's the most important thing, I should say. Hey, it's a healthy child! Are they delivering the baby from his fiance's dead husband? I think so. All right. Plasteel. Can we trade enough to get 40 plasteel? Yes, we can. Should probably get a little bit more in case it fails, I guess. There's a little bit on our map, so we'll go with 50. Okay. It's going to be the optimal growth tier, VAT growth balance for you. I'm not sure yet. So the thing is, I'm thinking that if I'm just needing people that can shoot and shoot well, I might literally just 
start putting people in there, just putting kids in there for their entire life just to try to get to critical mass. In a normal playthrough, I usually do VAT 0 to 3 and then back in at 13 to 18 if I want. But in this one, I might just VAT grow them entirely. A lot of them, I'm not sure. Why 13 to 18? Between 13 and 18, they have lower HP and they have lo they have lower body size, even though it doesn't look like it, they have lower body size, so they get addicted to drugs more easily. They're just they're just better once they get to 18. Hey, some shooting experience. Heat wave again. <laughs> I like how the game's like, there's a heat wave. You maybe should try air conditioning or or you know, passive coolers. Uh, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Just fence in the air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> Just fence in the cold air. Rotate the cooler so the cool side's facing the world. Mule! How much time needs to pass for a downed by dependency pawn to get back up? I'm not sure, yeah. It, so, it basically depends on their pain shock threshold. And a lot of times, if you have someone like a wimp that's, um, that's incapacitated because they're addicted to something, you're just gonna have to wait until they get over the addiction. Or when you give them more drugs, yeah. <laughs> Truly impossible challenge, no biphasic, triphasic. I actually thought about doing a challenge sometime. So every time I do a challenge, I at least think it's gonna be kind of fun, you know? It, it, I'm not gonna just be miserable the entire time. I actually thought like, I wonder if I could play through where I don't individually control pawns. That would be a near impossible, especially on no pause. But I don't think I'm going to do that one because I think it'd be more frustrating than it would be fun. <laughs> it would be difficult, but the, a lot of the difficulty would be just frustration. Yes, zoning things. Uh, exactly. That's, that's what I was thinking, but I wouldn't be able to triage anyone. So it would be, it would be just unreal. No drafting. Yeah. A lot of tedious zoning, yeah. I don't think it would be fun. It would just be tedious, yeah. It's the last time I built a water wheel. It's been a long time. Um, I think the last time I built a water wheel was about three seconds ago. No, but before this one, yeah, it's been a long time. Long, long time. It kind of sucks that, like, you might be wondering, like, why aren't you doing anything at the moment? Like, I literally have to sit here at the moment without increasing wealth at all until we get more colonists. That's the... That's all we need right now. Anything else that I get right now, aside like from maybe, you know, more lances or, you know, a doomsday for us or something like that. Anything else is just going to make it harder. We have everyone um, equipped with go juice. We just literally have to sit here and get more bodies. Uh, we're also, of course, getting a very important research done. We are scanning for steel, which is very, very important. This research will allow us to make our own components. Wasters hunting. Yeah, friggin' right. Look at that. Uh, like 60 pirates. A three-year-old child named Merlin's calling for nearby. is being chased by wasters from the garbage army. Tough luck, kid. Please, sir. I profane the peace ritual. Gotta learn somehow, kid. Good luck. Stone bridges would be really nice. It's, yeah, and it's crazy, too. I, I don't know. Like, people are making bridges stone bridges for like thousands of years but i mean that's not part of it with rimworld that's not why it's not in there i'm i'm much more though that like have things in the game and if people want to use them or not use them that's up to them but having stone bridges would be fantastic uh it's very very strong like stupidly strong to have a kill box over a river with stone bridges it's it's probably the strongest setup in the game imagine Imagine the singularity box over a river. That would that would be the epitome of nothing can ever get through. And the reason why is it slows them down so much. How much stronger do you think the singularity box would be now with the toxic grenades? You could add that to it, yeah. If you had some other... Uh, I think with toxic grenades, you could actually probably man it with less people. Spaceships, geothermal plants, no heavy-duty bridges, and no, and no mortar barrels. Three more basic research I'm going to get at all. Not sure if I want to do the genetics. I mean, can't see really using it very well in this. Unless we get an auto join that like has robust or something, you know? That's going to be pretty rare going. That's a lot of infrastructure and wealth. Probably not going to do it in this one. I'll save the Xeno stuff for the um, second attempt. If if we need a second attempt. Sterile doesn't do anything. We're not making meals. Auto doors doesn't do anything. 
Noxdillon's not a big deal on this map. I don't think we need any more of the basic research. Research air conditioning. How are your people going to get cool? I mean, right now we're researching fabrication either way, but I'm just considering destroying these and remaking the base a little bit. I'm thinking I'm actually going to put the beds kind of away from everything else so that if we do have a breach array that we just can't handle, we'll be like, all right, well, destroy the beds. We're going to chill out over here while you destroy the base and then we'll rebuild. I mean, breach your mech, we can't do that, but breach your pirates, we could. Transport pod. They're from the friggin' Empire. Why aren't you just... Oh, my God. That's one of the starters. They're from the Empire, so they're not going to auto-join. We'll still rescue them. Man, I thought they were a space refugee. That would have been so great. That would have been, like, literally a replacement for one of the starting pawns that died. We could actually work towards allying everyone for the chance that we get ally help on some raids as well. Ally help would be amazing in this one. There's a pawn named Please Kidnap Me. Yes. <laughs> They just rolled with that name. I don't know. Why so many people? I don't want to have research to do. This is advanced research. Advanced research needs advanced or high tech research benches to work. And I'm not spending more wealth and stuff at the moment to make more of them. Like right now we can handle just about anything that happens, I think, with what we have. So if we want to make sure we're not getting any more wealth at all right now, while we wait on more colonists and more research, that's it. Raids are already kind of scary. High tech research benches are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when we can't make our own uh, components yet, you know? So we're working on that part though. Wait, these are tribal. We might kill them on their way out. Why kill the tribal? The more tribals we have, the less likely we're going to get hit by harder raids. We can take care of tribals pretty easily, usually, with just superior firepower. So we want as many hostile tribals so that when it rolls a raid, it has those to pick from. So these are the two we don't want raided by. These are the two dangerous, but we can't ally them. But we can hedge our bets a little bit on raids by making the other tribe angry. So then we have three tribal Versus two pirates. Royal tribute collector and a wild woman. Kimmy. Alright. Which factions are better to ally with? So, with my play style, what I, what I would say is ally with every outlander you have and the empire. And then anger all the tribals. That's how I like to play. And the reason for that is the more outlanders you have, the more... Uh, like advanced things you can buy from from because you have more options, right? You have more more options to trade uh, factions to trade with that sell good stuff. So, and I don't want attacked by them. The more outlanders and you know empire whatever that's angry at you, the higher chance you're gonna get pirate raids. And in my opinion, ex late game explosive pirate raids are the scariest and hardest. And they that also includes like drop pod raids, right? So, I would. Uh, I would very much say if you're trying to kind of min-max it, ally with all outlanders that you can and the Empire and then anger all the trials. Uh, they're going to leave really quickly too. I don't know if we're going to be able to anger them quickly enough. There we go. Tribe angered. No, I don't I don't want their wealth. No. <laughs> I'm just literally wanting them to be angry at me. The Imperial's like, you're totally not gonna betray us, are you? Are you? Uh no, absolutely not. You're drive to worry about it, guys. Trust me. Alright. Another siege. What is with all the sieges? That's another small siege, too. Ostrich's Revenge. Oh, the Empire are enemies with them? Okay, we do not want to shoot through the Empire. No, 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 no. Hold, 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 hold. Hold the fire. Do not let those shoot. Everyone away. Everyone away. Oh, 
some flak there bandolier there it's a crazy run Thank you. 